All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing this truth in sincerity by Shimra Kakwadash. I came across this um, this picture on social media, and um, it moved me to do a video on it. And it says, as you can see, I didn't choose to be an Israelite. The Most High chose me. Now, two things came to mind when I saw this. I was like, first, hey, all praise, all praises, you know, to Yahweh Bashim El Shai that he chose me to be an Israelite, you know, that he chose us, brothers, you know, and you sisters out there, you believers, to be an Israelite, you know, and more often, you know, that you be not only um, an Israelite, you know, call them to this thing that you that you may be chosen, you know. Those are the two things that came to my mind. To my mind, you know, even to be an Israelite is something to greatly appreciate. You know, appreciate's not even the word. You know, because you could have been an Edomite. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, precepts. Get some scriptures, Lord willing to be edifying. Let me go to uh let's see. Let's go to Malachi. This is Malachi 1 and 2. It says, I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? And you know you got a lot of Jakes that say, Um, yeah, where's God? You know? Where, where, where's God at when 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 um when my father died or or you know, where's God when um you know everything went to hell? You know, how, how does God love us? You know, we're, we're in the ghettos, broke, you know, where, where was God when we, when we were in slavery? But are you not an Israelite? Are you not a so-called black Latino and Native American? OK, you could have been an Edomite or you could have been of the other nations. And we know the other nations uh, are going to serve us in slavery. And ultimately, the Edomites or the so-called white people are going to um, they're going to be burned. Okay, they're, they're going to be rounded up and burned. Okay, so it says, I have loved you, saith Yahweh, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? You see, was not Esau Jacob's brother? And we know that uh, Esau is Jacob's brother, right? Saith, saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob, you see? So are not these Edomites the brothers of, of the Israelites? Okay. It says, yeah, I love Jacob. So the Heavenly Father loved Jacob, whose name turned to Israel. The Lord loves the Israelites, man. Okay. It says, and I hated Esau. And this is also um, this is also uh, reiterated in uh, Romans, the ninth chapter. Okay. In the New Testament, you know, for all you New Testament believers only. It says, and I hated Esau. Okay. The Lord loved Jacob, loved Israel, and, and hated Esau. So, hey, you know... You ought to thank the Most High every day that you were born an Israelite, man. It says, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness, right? Okay, because the government of Esau, okay, and his heritage are going to be laid waste, okay? And we see this devil slipping out of power, okay? You know, now, now you got a lot of Jakes that are asking, you know, these Edomites questions and they can't answer, you know? Got a lot of a lot of Jakes, um, you know, being defiant, you know, what I mean, cussing out these white people where, you know, there was a time where you couldn't even look a white man in the eyes or else, you you know, you get you get punched or slapped or, you know, beat up. OK, it says, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. Right. His government, his kingdom is going to be laid waste, his heritage. And he really don't have a heritage, you know. He is a no people. It says, and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So this is what's coming to these Edomites. There's no scripture, okay, in the Bible that speaks about the Edomites that speaks in favor for them, okay. But but yet the Bible is replete with passages um, that show very much good favor towards the Israelites, okay. So Esau's kingdom and his heritage is going to be is going to be laid waste for the dragons of the wilderness, man. You know, so when, when everything is said and done, when uh, America is wiped off the face of the earth, OK, there's going to be dragons and owls and bitterns, you know, Komodo dragons. And they're going to be the 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 um, 
the wild beasts of the islands are going to be here in, in, in America. You know, it's going to be like a scene out of the road. You know, it's going to be a scene out of a um, Mad Max, you know, straight, straight wilderness, desert, you know. You know, but but that that's not that's not the uh, that's not the um, that's not the fate of 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 Jacob, you, you Israelites. You know, you blacks, Latinos, you Native Americans. This is First John, three one. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us? Yeah, brothers. You know, and all you new, you know, you newcomers, man. It, you know, wh what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us? Do you do you know how much love the Lord has for us? You know, the scriptures say all Israel shall be saved. OK, the Lord's going to take ungodliness away from Jacob. So, you know, there is an election, but but nonetheless, all Jacob's going to they're going to be quiet, man, from 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 madness, you know, from from having to serve um, any any other nation, you know, again, we're not going to be slaves no more. Man, the Lord has bestowed great love, man, great mercy. The Lord's going to gather the Israelites, OK? And, 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 you know, we know that two thirds are going to, are going to perish, but, but nonetheless, they, they're going to come back to the loins of the, of the elect, you know, they, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be in the kingdom too, you know, not, not as, not as esteemed as the election, but, but nonetheless, you know, they're, they're, you know, these other nations, they got slavery to look, look forward to, you know, they, they're going to be ruled over with a rod of iron and broken. You know, as 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 a potter, uh, as 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 a you know, a piece of pottery. If they don't, if they don't uh, comply, so behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the Most High, right? Yasharala, okay, Israel, and Israel's name was Jacob before it was ch changed. You know, therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Yeah, the world don't know that we're Israelites. The world don't know that this mighty work we're doing is 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 um. Is prophecy, okay? That that the Lord has raised up prophets in these last days, and 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 that the and that there's um there was men set up to teach, okay? That that remnant is going to come back, you know. But we know not all Israel's Israel, you know. And we know that the Lord came for for the Israelites and not the other nations. But nonetheless, the world doesn't know us, you know. The world don't hid this, you know. And they think they're going to rule. You got all these other countries thinking they're next, but no, they're sadly mistaken. The world knoweth us not, right? You know, you're you're outed, you know, among co-workers, family, and whatnot, because you have a special mission. You know, the Lord has loved you above other Israelites to bring you into this ministry to teach it. Okay, this is because it knew him not. It didn't know the Lord either. It didn't know you how was shy either. The scriptures say uh, he marveled at the unbelief in Jerusalem, huh? Okay, where he was born, he marveled at their unbelief. Okay, so brothers, you, you know, you, you, the only one who's really, you know, going to get, you know, the fame or whatnot, you're not going to get it till your shy gets back, man. You know, when, when the Lord, the Lord's going to get, you know, slowly but surely we're getting fame and praise, you know, low key, but it's going to be great when the Heavenly Father comes back. This is beloved. Now, are we the sons of the Most High? And it does not yet appear, right? It says, now, are we the sons of the Most High? Well, you know, it, it's, it very much seems like we could very much be that elect. And, and it says, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. Now, we, we don't really see yet. Okay, we still work nine to fives. You know, we still have, um, we live very much regular lives. Okay. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, right? You know, we don't know exactly how the the the, the spiritual power is going to be bestowed upon us and how we're going to be changed, but we know that when, when Yahweh Shai comes back, we're gonna we we're gonna be just like him, you know? For we shall see him as he is. We're gonna see him as he is. We're gonna be able to see Yahweh Shai, okay? In the kingdom, we're gonna be able to see the, the Most High. We can't even see the Most High, or else or else we would die. You know, how great is that? It says, and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Right. Yeah. You you know, these thoughts are, 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 are pure, you know, but to the unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their conscience is defiled, you know, and and you're supposed to have a mind to know that, you know, when your house comes back, you know, we're going to be made into, into a, into a celestial, you know, beings, you know.
we're gonna we're gonna be changed okay we're gonna be immortals and if you got this hope in you man you tch, hey man this is this is something that, that that cleanses you this is something that pushes you to be more spiritual you know we have to never lose sight of 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 the uh the 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 rewards you know who doesn't want an immortal body you see you know it beats living in this 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 mortal this mortal body where it, where it decays and you get old and, and and you know and you perish in this life. It's Ephesians one and four. No, I'm sorry. Three. Blessed be the Most High and Father of our of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. You see, we're blessed with spiritual blessings. Okay, every brother has his lot. Every brother hopes, you know, about the reward and, and about, the, you know, being purified and, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the spiritual powers. And the Lord knows us, you know, we're the household of the Most High. So we're blessed in heavenly places in Hamashiach. It says, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. You see, the Most High hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. So where's replacement theology, you know? No, Israel, his people, and he chosen a remnant. He chose an election, you know, uh, the best of its kind before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. You see, and the Heavenly Father died for us. So, 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 to, so that we would be holy and without blaming him in love. So that's, that's the riches of being uh, 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 chosen of the Most High. The mo you know, you didn't choose the Most High. The Most High chose you. Now, contrary to what Christians believe, they want to choose whatever doctrine, whatever uh, passages, you know, fits their their uh, their narrative and whatnot. You know, like vocab, talking about the replacement theology. Hey, that, that's, pfft, bro, good luck, you know. You're trying to rewrite the scriptures, man. Okay? That we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach to himself. Yeah, the Lord predestinated some to be adopted back. By by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach to to the Most High, according to the good pleasure of His will, right? It's see, it's all the it's all the it's all the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? And it pleased Him to do these things, man. You know the our, the Heavenly Father's thoughts. You know this movie is higher than our thoughts, man. You know to the to the praise of the glory of His grace, right? And we glory, we glory, and we praise the fact that we have grace, okay? And that the Most High is, is full of grace. He's not only about judgment. He, you know, hey, if He chose you to come into this truth, you know, and and, and, and you know, you're you're doing the work of the Heavenly Father. You're doing the will. You know what I'm saying? The sincerity and the truth, man. Hey, all praise to Yahweh Bashimi Shai. He is graceful, wherein He hath made us accepted of the beloved. You see, bro, there's nothing better than that. There's nothing on the earth, nothing. There's n absolutely not one thing on this earth that could, you know, replace. You know the the feeling or the the idea, you know, or that notion that that you could very much be one of the chosen, you know, one of the first spirits created, okay, to uh, you know one of the spirits to, to be you know elected to 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 make it out of this this coming destruction, man. You see, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Wow, that's beautiful, man. You know, to be chosen out of all the Israelites in the in the world and you got you got some bad Israelites man you, you know you had Michael Jordan he used to fly you know what I'm saying uh, Michael Jackson used to pop lock and you feel me and and and, and uh you know Julio Cesar Chavez you know knocked out 900 uh 90 like not 900 like 90 cats back to back you know we come we come from a very uh um talented people but to be chosen to get this knowledge in these last days, to 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 come back to remembrance, okay, to know how the the world is, you know, the history of the world is is going to be played out. There's nothing like it, okay. Yeah, you didn't choose the Most High; He chose you, you know. So there's a lot to be grateful for. This is Second Timothy one and nine. It says, "Who has saved us." And called us with an holy calling. You see, the Lord has saved us and called us with a holy calling. Because you're, if you're part of the elect, you're already saved. You just don't know it. It doesn't appear yet. So what manner of love does the Heavenly Father have for you? You know, He got your back and you, you, might, you at times you don't even know it. You see, it does not yet appear. You know what we shall be. Okay, it says, who has saved us and called us with an holy calling? Right? It's a holy office. A separate office. You know, you're separate from the world, man. You, you are set up.
and you're on a mission to totally be separate from the world to do a, a very righteous and, and, and holy work. Not according to our works, right? Not according to a, to us. This is but according to his own purpose and grace. Okay, it's according to the Most High's own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, you see? Okay, it was through Yahweh Shai, him coming and supping with, with the, uh, with his, with his men upon the earth and then through the spirit, okay, before the world began, okay? It, it was before the world began that the Heavenly Father, you know, you know, plan to send Yahweh Shai to, 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 you know, do these marvelous works, okay, and then and then have uh, 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 that remnant, you know, come back in 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 their in their lots, okay, if that makes sense. You see, who has saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to His own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai before the world began. You see. And then on this, 2 Thessalonians 4, so like, is that 2, 13, it says, but we are bound, you know what, let's get this, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, you see, okay, so, yeah, man, how, you know, how great it is to be an Israelite and, and moreover to be chosen of the Israelites, man. You see, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Okay, so the Heavenly Father is sending um, a lot of strong delusions and a lot of people believe lies, you know. Look, look at look at this replacement theology. That's a strong delusion, man. You got that dude going hard on that. And that dude's that dude this this, this you know? It's a delusion, you know? It's a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness, you see? Because if you're not in this truth, you're you're you're, you're you know you're you're unrighteous. You know, and you, you basically you're not chosen. Okay, you're not chosen to get this these secrets, you know. It says, but we are bound to give thanks all way to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord. Okay. Right, we always give thanks, man, for, 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 the, for the believers, you know, the beloved of the Lord. Because the Most High hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. You see, this is heavy. The Most High hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation, you know. The believers, you know, and all brothers that are in this truth, the Most High has chosen you to salvation through what? Through the sanctification of the Spirit, you know, through through to purifying you through the Spirit, through whole, through um, you know, waking you up, to bring to setting you up, okay, in the Spirit and belief of the truth, right? Because the Heavenly Father wants those to worship Him in Spirit and in truth. So we have to always give thanks, not only that we're Israelites, but that you know we have a chance. You know, so so make your calling and election sure. Be diligent, you know. Pray always, you know, and give thanks to the, to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shai, you know, and, and and hope and pray that the Heavenly Father remove not the Holy Spirit, that you can continue unto the end, okay? Because you have not chosen the Most High, but the Most High hath chosen you, you know, to be an Israelite, you know, to be to be a to be a son of the Most High. All right, but that's all I got. Lord willingness was edifying. Shalom.